A 2020 law is now fully in effect as of July 1st after years of Republican efforts to delay the program. The Earned Sentence Credits Program rewards some incarcerated people with time off their sentences based on good behavior while behind bars. Brendan King joins us live to share the voice of one man who actually earned a shortened sentence and shares criticism from the Youngkin administration. Brendan. At a press conference yesterday here at the General Assembly, we spoke to a Mr. Sam Harris. He was sentenced to 60 years in prison for carjacking, robbery, and abduction. However, he was scheduled to be released next year, but it was the Governor Glenn Youngkin who issued him a conditional pardon. Most of the guys that I've served time with, a majority of them have earned a way to get out of there. You know, they have earned their right to get That's why, like, like I just mentioned, this earned sentence wasn't given to us, we earned it. Sam Harris is an Army veteran who was not diagnosed with PTSD before he started doing drugs and committed his crimes. He has since followed the rules while incarcerated, becoming what they call a model prisoner. This earned sentence credit program sets a very high bar for inmates in order to get out early to earn credits. Those inmates must follow prison rules, behave, work, earn an education. But we're also hearing criticism this morning from Youngkin's administration. Virginia Attorney General Jason Miara says of the 400 45 inmates eligible for immediate release on Monday, July 1st. They include 16 first degree murder convictions, 22 rape or sexual assault convictions, and 46 individuals like Sam Harris who were found guilty of abduction. Now, I want to be clear. I believe in redemption. I believe in returning citizens rejoining our society. But I also believe that our criminal justice system works. If you do the crime, you must also do the time. And we certainly should not be reducing sentences for those that are considering having a high likelihood of repeat offenses. This was a Democratic-led effort during the Northam administration back in 2020, and supporters of this program say it cost thousands of dollars to jail one person for just one year. And they say this program already saving Virginia some $28 million.